portion of the, of the, the pension contributions. Again, let's talk about. So the retirees are taking all the money. That happens. That's the way it's supposed to be. The retirees are supposed to take the money, but the new employees put more money into it. The employer puts more money into it. Who's the employer? Association of Motion Picture and Television Producers, the AMPTP. And this is the Motion Picture Industry Pension and Health Plan. It's not only our pension plan, it's also the health plan. And in a minute, we're going to talk about CSATF, which is the Contract Services uh, Administration Trust Fund. But first, the employer contributions, the investments. The only way that our pension plan gets to the numbers that the MPI Board of Directors is talking about, they, they claim. Now, here's, here's one thing. There is a, a letter from an actuary dated October of 2018 who claims that the motion picture pension fund will be funded at 80% in 2023 and 100% in 2032. Now the information that we're getting from the MPI is that it'll be 80% funded in 2026 and it'll be 100% funded by 2032. So which is it? 2023 or 2026 and why the change? Maybe because the plan that they have relies on a 7.5% return on investment every year, each and every year, can't, can't vary, 7.5% return on investments every year. For 2018, their return on investment is negative 3%. Negative 3%. So in order for their plan to work, they have to get 7.5 every year. Well, last year, they're, might, they're 10% off. How is it going to be funded 80%? in 2023 or 2026 and how is it going to be funded in 2032 so we do have a problem it is we're in the green now i believe that i believe we're in the green now but this is something that we have to start worrying about and have to start taking in, into uh, into account now how is this solved everybody's asking how is it solved number one we enforce the contract number two we negotiate for a different residuals the post 60 is not going to cut it anymore Supplemental markets in post-60, that's not going to be where the, those numbers are now. Employer contributions have to be up. It has to be uh, less investments, more residual income, and we have to have a plan for residuals or feedback, payback, whatever you want to call it, from streaming video on demand. It has to be in there. Now, wait, it gets better. Not only was our investment negative 3% last year when we needed to be 7.5%, Let's talk about the third wheel here. Pension plan, MPI, PHP, the AMPTP, operates the pension plan or oversees the pension plan. They oversee our health plan and they oversee contract services trust fund. Let's talk about administrative costs real quick. Administrative costs for the pension plan are roughly $40 million a year, $38 million, I believe. It's a hard figure to come because they don't share that information readily. MPI sent out a notice last year. I think their um, administrative costs were in the $20 million range, $21 million. And then let's talk about contract services, CSATF. This is very important. Pay attention to this. When the current administration took office in 2013 or 2014, 26 cents per workable hour. Okay, that was contributed to CSA TF. So the pension plan is a trust fund, but they also have a trust fund for contract services. 26 cents per workable hour. And the next contract, it went up to 46 cents per workable hour. And in the new contract, if you look at the MOA, on the IATSE pages and on the Teamster page, it goes up to 53 cents per workable hour, and in 2020, 60 cents per workable hour. We got an email, we got information from the MPI and from our own union, the current administration, that there was 100.5 million hours of contributions for 2018, record number. Of contributing hours. 100.5 million 
times 46 is $46 million. $53 million and $60 million if we retain those kind of hours.